hello, hello, hello. Hi, everybody. I don't think it's starting yet. It's trying to. There we go. We're live. Here we go. Hi, there's that fabulous live button. Hi, everyone. <laughs> hello. How's it going? Happy, happy, happy day. Happy day. <laughs> happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, this <laughs> Since Jesus washed <laughs> my sins away. That's like an old song. Um, Welcome, everybody. I'm Paul Green. This is Kate Austin. Oh, comments are way down there. Where's the comments? We'll be able to drag that up. There's oh, Timmy's here. Okay. We got Great. Kelly. Savvy is on the go with Lisa. Um, savvy on the go. Hi, everybody. Okay, we're going to crack right into this. Yeah. We should probably wait for a few people to get here, but we can, I well, would say... We'll just, I would say let's start breathing and let's get into it and that, you know. Let's do it. They'll come in when they come in. That's great. We're going to start with uh, just a little uh, check-in here and yeah. want to see how everyone, let us know how everyone's doing, how you're yeah. feeling. How are you in, feeling today? In the comments. How are you feeling about what did, hump signing day? up to this and what, what you're looking for mm -hmm. in this coaching? Yes. And you guys might be excited or focused and mm -hmm. overwhelmed or totally thrilled to be here. Underslept, overslept. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, it's nice to see. I see you all here in the comments. Hello, mm. hello, hello. Yay. We're going to start with a little breathing. Yeah, we uh, always start um, any of our coaching with a meditation, a breath work, a movement, some way of just, just getting into our bodies, releasing the day, and just, and just, just feeling the moment. So... Um, today we're doing a super easy one, so we don't have to. No instruction required. It's just five. Five deep, deep breaths. Instructions through your nose and out your mouth. So let's begin. Close your eyes. As people, if you're just coming in, you just just jump jump on. in and breathe. Ready? Inhale. Let it go. Inhale. Let it go. Inhale. Two more. Last one. Ah. That is Ooh. such a beautiful tool that we do it before every meal that we eat together we take five deep breaths and gets us connected uh, to our breath and gets us in the moment and grateful for our food so just a little bit a little bit about us um yeah feel free to share this a little bit about us so we started freedom alchemist uh you want you you share yeah. this a little bit because yeah we i we started freedom alchemist four years ago and it was because I saw there was a need of people, people start checking out of their lives at a certain point. They give up on their dreams and people stop believing in how extraordinary they are. Like we're all walking miracles. I truly believe that. I'm so excited to remind people that. And so that it was sort of born out of this idea of helping people remember who they are and tap into their infinite potential. And from there it has blossom and grown and we have helped hundreds of people transform their lives in in the most beautiful ways in terms of you know releasing things like a, um up to a hundred pounds some people have lost. yeah and she's and one of our oldest participants yeah. uh, but there's people that have released 80 and 90 or 60 and 50 pounds i mean you'll see in the comments people like to share how much they've released yeah. that's just but we're not a weight loss program but when you start digging into your world um you can start seeing what holds you back and then all of the things that you think are a problem start melting away so anyway that was a roundabout way yes yes yes, yes yes and then from me, I'm I'm a, a Tony Robbins Strain st strategic intervention coach, and I have my master's in neuro linguistic pro programming. We've both done communication programs. We're really committed to getting all of the juicy tools the to juicy pass tools. on to everybody else, so that they have the tools to access everything they want for their life. And you and just got your master's in NLP, I which sure is did. amazing. Yeah. Um, well. And what about you, my love? Well, I sort of, I've been in the fitness game for 
uh, at least 20 years. I used to do men's health, men's journal, uh, men's fitness covers on the vanity side. And I always was, it was always important for me to, to end for movies too when I'd have to take my shirt off. I'd have to be able to get into shape really quick. So <laughs> that was the uh, side of looking good. But then my dad got sick from ALS uh, nine years ago and took us on a very deep, um, a very deep journey into prevention and with my dad l looking at at especially from the detoxification side and all these incredible ways of trying to keep my dad alive and so for I've been since then been on a deep dive into all things uh, longevity and detox and and how do we look at the environment inside and there's so many neurodegenerative diseases my dad passed from ALS uh, Lou Gehrig's disease mm -hmm. And so I've become uh, a guinea pig and tried everything and researched That's everything true. and spent my life committed to um, helping people uh, with prevention in this realm that of toxicity and detox. And so, mm -hmm. uh, and I have sort of distilled it into some very potent tools that we share inside of our uh, ongoing community here. So, so that's me and I'm just, for me, I always have to make it fun. And that's like the main <laughs> part of my personality, I think. So I like to distill this information and make it accessible to people yeah. that they can use it and it's enjoyable. Because um, if it's not enjoyable, then why do it? Why do it? Life's here for fun. And we, 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 we focus all of our energy on three core areas, which is the mind, which I do. Um, so your sabotages, things in the way, past traumas, things that, things that really, you know, block our mind and then Paul focuses on the body with all these amazing body hacks and detoxification and all that sort of thing yeah. and then together we do relational stuff in relationship to yourself and others now these three things together actually really create an environment for you to thrive because so many things are just like just this or just this or just this we really you know your mind your body your heart and soul they're all in this one package <laughs> yeah. so it's crazy to work on one it's it's crazy, but some people are like, I just want to lose weight. And it's like, well, let's look at the reasons that the weight is staying on you. And it's usually some kind of emotional trauma, some kind mm -hmm. of mental thing that like not, not yeah. mental meaning a mind, mind thing. Right. Yeah. And so we have, it's a whole entire package that we have to unpack. So that's why we do all three. We have an ongoing program um, and a membership, which, um, Everyone's in accountability groups, and they some, some people have been with us the whole four years. Mm -hmm. It's one of those things that you can keep going back to. You keep um, like uh, the the an onion peel. You keep peeling back the layers to keep discovering more and more you. So that's uh, one of the things we do amongst a bunch of other programs. Um, but yeah, for now, we want you guys to grab a pen and paper. Yes, the reason you're here is to learn about the upper limit problem mm -hmm. and to stop the sabotage. We want to really offer something to you that's usable. And if you stick around to the end of this video, you're going to get you're you are going to have a tool that you'll be able to apply, and your life will never be the same. This is one of those gifts that live sort of. This is one of those tools that is such a gift, and it's an it operates in the realm of one of your blind spots. And until you learn that you have a thermostat of how good you're willing to have it that you have an upper limit problem and you discover that it's possible to stop sabotaging your life, you never knew it was possible. And so something that was impossible and even blind to you by the end of this video will become tangible and possible. And you will have action steps that you can take to really put this into practice in your life and, and, and dramatically transform this this area of your life of when things get good, you blow it up. And here's why. So get your pen, yeah. turn off your phones, mm -hmm. uh, and let's drop in here together. And uh, don't don't go scroll on Instagram. <laughs> um, yeah, turn off the TVs, turn off the background noise. Just be with just, us. Because you're going to be take, taking notes. We're going to be asking you some questions. And you're actually, this is a yeah. working session yeah. this for isn't, you. This to, isn't a TV that's to watch. It's no. like, get involved here. To get the most Although out you're of pretty it. cute. I'm sure people are just <laughs> looking at how cute you are. Uh, I'm pretty sure everyone's thinking you're pretty cute. You're pretty cute. <laughs> All right. All right. So this is a um, 
this is like this this has a big this is the big piece of the puzzle and once you get this piece many other areas will start like falling into place yeah. so this it's is like a domino piece that knocks over other ones yeah. yeah so one of the one of the places that is impacted massively by the upper limit problem is self-worth now put your hand up if you got some self-worth stuff most people do and uh, heads up it comes from childhood but Here's something that I want you to really take in. You cannot earn more money, get more love, get more peace, more success, more happiness, fill in the blank of more whatever, than you think you deserve. Let that sink in. I'm just gonna repeat it because it's important. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it slow. You cannot earn more money, get more love, or more peace, or success, or happiness, or fulfillment, or you get to fill in the blank, then you think you deserve. So whatever you think you deserve is exactly what you're going to get. Yeah, and that, and that might be a little bit of a weird concept, because we might think that we want to have, you know, all the money, all the fame, all the things, like, that the consumerism world is telling us that we want to be happy, but the minute someone gives you something, you might reject it, or the, you know, the, the minute uh, someone gives you a compliment, you reject it. So that is Or you what? get a promotion, you find a way to, to, to psych yourself out the night before the interview and you blow it. Yeah. Or you're Will Smith and you yeah. go up and sm smack somebody. <laughs> yeah. So what is the upper limit problem? When we exceed our inner thermostat settings, so that's when we think we've got it as good as we can get it, we may, we'll do something to sabotage ourselves, causing us to drop back into the old familiar zone where we feel safe, secure, and comfortable. Um, and these, these are usually things that came from early childhood, which is why we have that thermostat in the first place. Um, and this holds us back from enjoying life to the fullest and being in the zone of competence or, at best, excellence, usually not in our zone of genius. And this, this we're going to start talking about zones here, so <laughs> don't zone out. Uh, you, have, you have a zone of incompetence, which is all the things you're not good at. Then you have a zone of competence, which is the things that you're competent at. You're mm -hmm. pretty good at them. Mm -hmm. Then you have a zone of excellence, which is someplace you are grooving and you work extremely well. You make a good living there. You're, 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 it's comfortable for you because you're so good at it. You're reliable to your peers. They count on you. You're very successful in your zone of excellence. But there is a deep, sacred part of you that will wither and die if you stay here. It's true. And it's it's very subtle, but there's a part of you that will die if you stay in your zone of excellence. Now the zone of genius. Tell us about that. Ooh, this is the zone. This is where you thrive, where you feel satisfied, where you can draw upon your special gifts, where you do things that you are uniquely talented about, where you feel exalted, where time slows down. Like, you know, that nothing feels hard. Uh, everything feels like completely in flow and effortless and full of grace and ease. Um, and your very presence inspires people. Now think about that. Mm -hmm. Walking into a room and your very presence inspires people. And we've all met those people that are just, they do not care what anyone thinks. They are totally in their zone of, of genius and and it, and just that that freedom or that sense of knowing who they are is inspiring to be around. Right. Mm -hmm. And this zone then this zone beckons to you like your your whole life. It's it's by the age of 40 your you may have most people many have tuned out. tuned out tuned out all the goodness to, to this calling for you to mm -hmm. be in your genius. Mm -hmm. And you're going to start to get alarm bells warning some it shows up sometimes as depression mm -hmm. it shows up sometimes as illness as pain as, as injuries ailments your your relationship conflicts and and mm -hmm. so these are beautiful alarms reminding you to anxiety to nurture you back mm -hmm. to your natural genius mm -hmm. zone. so you're being summoned back to your zone of genius and with this, we have to let that genius do its ma That genius is there for you to do your magic in the world. And 
it's a personal, unique gift that only you can do. Yeah. And you will be worn through all those things that you're not, that you're, it's, you're, it's calling you forward to your greatness. Now, I want you to just for a second think about, you know, how many people experience hurting themselves or depression or these sorts of things. And we look at these as terrible, terrible things, and they are when we're in it, absolutely. But we want to start looking at these things as the body telling you there's something to look at. Yeah. You know, they're, they're, they're beautiful, painful reminders that you're not in your zone of genius, that you're not living your life in the way that you really imagined you could. And so it's like, okay, instead of just wallowing in that, how do we start moving out of that? Mm. This is part of the thing that we really inspire and invoke with our community. Mm. And so we, yeah. So, can so how, do, how does the upper limit problem get solved? Um, well, it can't be solved. <laughs> um, it's totally unsolvable. It's unsolvable. Yeah. That sounds fun, doesn't it? No, it has to be dissolved. Dissolved. Completely dissolved. And the way in which you dissolve it is by shining a laser beam of focused light on these things. So uh, on these issues that are creating a false foundation that keeps the upper limit in place. So that's, you know, if you believe you're not good enough, if you believe you're not lovable, if there's all of these little under underpinned beliefs mm. that are stopping you from having that thermostat, you know, with women I know they call it the glass ceiling when you think you can't smash past right. that. You can see it, but you can't get past it. And you right? shine the laser light of your mm -hmm. beam of your awareness on the underpinnings yes. of these false uh, foundations that hold the upper limit in place mm -hmm. and then when you shine that light on these things they just it disappears they start to disappear mm -hmm. and so there's 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 four fears and and four related false beliefs that these are neither true and they are often hidden these are false and they're hidden in our blind spots so there's four, this is a really great way to help you identify your upper limit as well. So here's false belief number one. The false belief that we are fundamentally flawed in some way. And if we carry this feeling with, within us, we sabotage our success. If something good happens, we must mess it up. Yep. Uh, because we feel that we are bad in some way and good things can't happen to bad people. Right. Mm-hmm. Another who, is, way. who experiences that one? Right, right, right. right. Yeah. Like good things can't happen to bad, mm -hmm. bad people. There's all these f f sayings that we that we are stuck with that uh, end up feeding our false beliefs sometimes. So, uh, foundation number two, faulty foundation number two, is is by succeeding. This is a falsehood. This is a lie. This is not true. But by succeeding, we're being disloyal and leaving people behind. Mm -hmm. So people in our past mm -hmm. that we feel we can't soar too high. Like or, mom or dad. Or will or become disloyal to our roots. Or other or sister or things like that. Yeah. So, and we yeah. wouldn't want to leave those people in our past far behind. So these yeah. are fears and related false beliefs. So what's yeah. our false belief number three? Number three is we feel we are a burden in the world. Um, and if, if we carry this, we're feeling, uh, we, we like to sabotage our success so we won't be a bigger burden in the world. How many can relate to that hmm? comment in the, in, the in the chat there? Mm. So false belief number four is we must dim our light our brilliant light to as to not outshine somebody else in our from our past. Yeah. We it might be a brother or a sibling or a parent, but mm -hmm. we hold ourselves back from our full potential so that other people feel safe. Yeah, we don't want to outshine anyone. Yeah. So So this is very important. Is this are you with us? Is this uh, let us know in the it's... comments. Is this making is this hitting you right in the heart? Yep, yep, anxiety. We got it. Absolutely anxiety. We see that. Um all right, so this is very important and very relevant to right now. When you achieve a high level of success, mm -hmm. you're, you often create personal dramas in your life that cloud your world with misery and unhappiness and prevent you from enjoying that success of the moment. So quite often our big leaps 
are followed by big mess ups. And these mess ups can rubber band you and snap you back into the sim same similar place that you were in or sometimes worse. Yeah, a great example of that, as Paul mentioned earlier, is what Will Smith has just done to himself. You know, he just he's just won the Best Actor Award, but he's gone and and kind of created all this drama um, and made you know a pretty horrible mistake. So that is a great example of an upper limit problem. Yeah. Like really blowing things up when instead he should be celebrated and enjoying his award, but instead he's in all of this shame yes. and all of that sort of stuff. So that's a good example for you guys to really understand what an upper limit problem looks like. Yeah, and I'm sure there's a lot of things going on that would cause yeah. him to react that way, but it looks like an upper limit yeah. <laughs> sabotage yeah. blow up. Let's right not get there. into the politics, politics of yeah, all yeah. of that, but there, just for an example of what like, it might look like. It was fake. Yeah. It wasn't even real, yeah, so, but forget yeah. all that. Yeah. Use it for what it is, Yes. Uh, which was a good example that we, we saw. So, okay. Yeah. Signs that you are upper limiting, and I like using this as a, as a verb. So you're upper limiting when you start worrying about something that you have no control over. These are signs yeah. that you are upper limiting. And, and just, just a little side note. What? The only thing you have control over in your life is how you react. There is nothing else you have control over. So if you're worrying about anything besides the way you react, you're having an upper limit problem. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Number two is criticism and blame. When we uh, criticize ourselves, criticize others, or blame others, it's usually an upper limit problem. That's right. Mm -hmm. Deflecting and brushing off compliments is another sign that you're upper limiting. How many people do that? <laughs> right. I'm one of them, so I have, I'm better. I, I'm, I'm pretty good these days. Sometimes yeah. I just go catatonic, but, <laughs> but yes. Um, arguments. Having arguments with people, that's you having an upper limit problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Getting sick or hurt is, could be a sign that you're upper limiting. You're about to get this promotion and you all of a sudden are sick or you're mm -hmm. injured or your back hurts. And it seems upper like, limits. you know, I've got, I got COVID, you know, it seems like random, but usually it's not. Mm -hmm. um, and then the last one, number five, is a breach of integrity. So if you've been lying, if you have been, um, if you have broken agreements, so you agree, you want to do something and then you break the agreements, or if you withhold truth. Withholding is a big part of yeah, communication we share about. Especially with people you course. love, and so many people think it's best for others if they withhold the truth. It's simply not true, mm -hmm. and this creates upper limits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how do we get from where we are to our from our zone of excellence or competence or over to the zone of genius and mm. there's actually a bridge there's questions that you can wonder about yes there's a set of four questions that help you bridge from where you are to, to understand how do you get into your zone of genius now and you can write this on your pen and pad right now or on your computer it's a you, lot can, of questions you can write right it in now. your comment not you're not going to write the question you're just going to write your answer, answer. yeah <laughs> <laughs> well, I was like, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, and you can write it in the side. But the number one is, what do you most love to do? And love it so much that you can do it for a long time without getting tired or bored. Mm -hmm. We'll give you Over 20 two. seconds to write that down. What do you most love to do? You can also throw it in the chat here. It might be a sec. We might be a little off, so we're gonna keep going on there, and we'll read some out in a minute. We'll give you a couple minutes, though, or a couple seconds more yeah. here. Feel free to write those down. Okay, so that that question is, what do you most love to do? Great. So draw, piano, hiking, yeah. Stay at home and cuddle my cat. Cook. I love to read books, sing, acting, mm. baking. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Okay. Number two, and we'll give you 20 seconds to write these down too. What work do you do that doesn't seem like work at all to you? And it, you can do it all day long, uh, never get tired of it, you're never bored. Give you 20 seconds here, feel free to write it in your journal. Um, this is a little different. This is like, this is what work. This is work. work, rather than just something you love, some, some kind of work. Quilt, read, garden, act silly think, and I, stupid with children. I they, think they this still is, might is be still the other one, yeah. It's still fun to read them. <laughs> and then, okay. Write and create stories and characters. Great. 
Writing, singing, podcasting, marketing, cleaning my yard, okay. working with my children, cook. cook. I can relate. I love working cooking. at church. Great. Great. They're one and the same. That's yeah. powerful. Yeah. Cool. Teaching, garden, serve others at work. Yeah. Wonderful. All right. Okay. So question number three, to bridge the gap from our zone of competence or excellence to our zone of genius is... What work produced the highest amount of abundance and satisfaction to the amount of time spent? So what have you done that created the most amount of abundance for you? Um, and abundance could be financial, it could just be pure joy, it could be whatever abundance is for you. Just a huge abundance payoff compared to the time you spent. And satisfaction yeah. compared to the time you spent. Like, wow, that was so great. Right, like I can pick up my guitar and 10 seconds later, the payoff for me is massive. Like the, f the feeling. Mm. It's an abundant feeling. Or I can hear a song and try to learn it. Mm -hmm. And I can instantly get into that zone. Or maybe you did a garage sale and it, like it was the most fun. You met the most amazing right. people. And then you made a huge amount of money at the end of it. Or you, know, right. or you did a job that you loved and it felt like you weren't doing anything. And then it just like completely, yeah. uh, you got a huge check at the end of it as well. Or you bought Bitcoin yeah. <laughs> at a certain point. <laughs> yeah, you Somebody invested. told you to yeah. in 2003, said, buy Bitcoin. You're like, Okay. Uh, what is, and then this is the fourth this is question. Number four. Bridging the gap, bringing you into your zone of genius. What is your unique ability that you are blessed with? Mm. And so this, and you can write that down in your, uh, you can write that down into your journal. You can, put you can it write it here yeah. if you're feeling helping with teenagers. Great. Being the instrument and in guiding new hires at work. Playing my violin, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, love it. Well, so this is all just, this is an introduction to one of the tools that we just love in our course, our program, um, called the, that helps people identify their upper limit problems. And this is all from a book called The Big Leap with from Gay Hendricks. Uh, and he, you can check out his book, he unpacks this deeper, you can uh, also stay with us because there's certain tools that we always lean on, like mm -hmm. loving what is, mm -hmm. is one of our big mm -hmm. tools, or the, con the, the, the communication, the tools for conscious communication, uh, generous listening, and there's, there's a few, loving what is is a big one where we send people to go do the work, but uh, understanding upper limit problems is huge because people want to have these a big love or a big a new relationship and they get a couple months in and then they sabotage the relationship and blow it and they don't know why mm -hmm. and it's such a powerful tool to help you break through to your next level in your life and also take that big leap into your zone of genius rather than just competence or excellence yeah and and like we said this is just one tool we have we have a huge toolkit of tools, and certain tools really resonate with different people, which is um, why it's so beautiful for the more like staying in the process for longer because you have access to all these tools, how to use them, how to master them, how to get better at them the whole way. Um, so you, but you want to all of these tools at the beginning is pointing to where do you feel stuck. Um, and in order to find the solution, you can go a few ways. You can go the hard way, which is kind of going it alone and trying to f figure out whatever you can figure out. Mm -hmm. um, which isn't a lot of fun. It's not a lot of fun, especially you when you're in these like kind of murky areas of like how to unleash yourself from stuckness to liberation, right? Yes. Or you can go the fun way, the supported way. The it's a, the much easier way, which is with us. Yeah. And with the great the community. community. We like Kate said before, we cover the whole sphere of body, mind, and connection. It's a body, mind, and relationships, and we're trained to know how to ask you really good quality questions. Mm -hmm. And I feel like quality of your life is really determined by the quality of your thoughts but also the quality of the questions that you ask yourself. Yeah. A lot of people the, ask the victim questions of why me? Yeah. Or why not me? Yeah. I mean, why I mean, me? Yeah. <laughs> why not me is why what not, you should ask. Why not me? Um, 
And it's also by the quality of the people you spend the most of your time yeah, with. Uh, yeah. Now, the, one of the most beautiful things, especially through the pandemic, is that the community that we created supported each other in it ways sure that just were, you know, I so many, you know, I know that people people in our group travel together now. They 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 go visit each other. They've become best friends. Um, and they've and so many people have said, you know, the people in this program actually that I've never met or they're all my online friends helped me through the hardest part of my life, you know, maybe deaths of family members, things like that, more so than any friends or families that I had. Right. The reason is we encourage everyone to be seen, heard, and loved through sharing, through realizing that we're all human beings. We're not human doings, we're human beings. And we all share commonality and we all go through tough times no one no one's getting out alive without all of this you know we we have to we have to like use our pain as our purpose to rise from a pain mm. as a platform to rise from rather than being swallowed by it yeah. and it's sometimes impossible not to feel swallowed by it when you feel alone community is the answer to everything it's the basis of longevity right babe yeah the communities that have the tightest the most tight-knit groups uh the social programs uh, they live longer they live longer than 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 any other any other metric for longevity is a tight knit community and uh, it gives you something to wake up for two in the morning and something to wake up for those who had something to wake up for lived the longest no matter where they were in relationship to their environment their fit their relational environment pulling them forward was even more important than the foods that they ate so we, we do provide that um, a, a community that's pulling you forward with their generous listening of how and holding you to a high standard. And so the, you know, the top five people you surround yourself with will be your average salary and your weight and your bank account balance and your outlook on life and is who you surround yourself with. So. Uh, it, having that uh, that community that's going to pull you forward is is I think one of the most important pieces in our lives is your your tribe. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. How's everyone going? How's everybody doing here? Yeah? Let us know in the comments. And we've been like la 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 la. Well, we wanted just to offer yeah. you some massive value that you could just take, and whether you know from this by watching this that you can apply this right away and mm -hmm. and 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 get shine a light into the underpinnings of some of your blind spots you yeah know? which is areas you don't know that you don't know and we're gonna we're gonna launch into another process called the dickens process right now just so um just 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 yeah it's it, this is um very revealing this one so what what i want you to do is i want you to just think about what's getting in your way right now you know and you can write in the comments overweight, depressed, procrastinating, like what, what, what is there in your way that's having you feel stuck? It could be a habit, it could be something that you're, you do repeatedly. Some of you might be smoking yeah. <laughs> or eating incessant uh, sugary snacks that you know uh, Donna's yeah. brain's overloaded in a good way. <laughs> okay, Donna, take, we got more. <laughs> yeah, just take a breath. Take a deep breath. <laughs> You can rewatch this. This process we're about to take you through right now is is very powerful. Mary Moore's doing better. Cool. Okay, fear, age, age procrastinating, weight and sleep issues, um, myself and bad choices, sugar. Yeah. Um, yeah. Dep okay. Depression, losing yeah. hope, smoking. Eating, 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 yeah, Too you name much. it. So, so this, this process, mm -hmm. um, a lot of you know who the author uh, Dickens is, and there's this really beautiful psychological training that, and, and, and Anne will know about this too, where you, it's called the Dickens process, and many of you know about the ghosts of the, Christ, the Christmas past and the Christmas future and present, and Kate's going to just take, grab, grab the worst one of your habits yeah, the or thing beliefs. That, that has you feel really, really stuck. Just thing, one of them. Grab one thing that's, that, that you know is really messing with you. Mm -hmm. And one thing that if you continue to do it, 
what okay is going to take you on yeah. that process. All right. So Choose, close your eyes. Close that thing. Grab that thing. Make it real. Mm-hmm. And then what has this belief cost you in the past? And what has it cost people that you've loved in the past? And what have you lost because of this belief? And I want you to see it. I want you to hear it. I want you to feel it. Really go there. Mm -hmm. Now, what, have what you is lost because of this belief yeah. or this habit? Yeah, from in the past. Now, what, what is this belief or this habit costing you and the people you care about in the present? This is the ghost of Christmas present. <laughs> so right now, what is it costing you to keep entertaining this habit or to keep entertaining this belief that is keeping you really stuck? And really feel it, hear it. When you've got that and you're, you've already got what it's cost you in the past, what it's costing you right now, now what will it cost you and the people you care about if you don't, if you don't let this belief go or disappear it or you don't give up this habit, what will that cost you in one year's time? You just hang on to it and keep it there. Year's time, it's exactly the same as it is now. Mm-hmm. Now I want you to amplify that. We're going to go in three years time. Three years time you are still dealing with the same issue. You still have the same habit. You know, if that is smoking or if that is overeating, what does that look like another on, three years of it? On your skin, on your teeth, and your... Like, on your joints, carrying that sort lungs. of weight around. You know, what, what does it mean for your grandkids or your kids? Yeah. You know? And then five years, keep going, keep going without letting this go, make hanging it, on to it and go as, as you know, it, make it nasty, make it as nasty as possible. And then 10 years, 10 years from now, hanging on to this heaviness, this habit, this belief, mm. not, you know, make a noise just, about that feels like, yeah, no um, one can hear you. So just go for the it. The disappointment. Like, like, ah! Let you it know, out. Just like, you know, will you even be alive if yeah, you, you continue have, this? That's right. Will you even be alive? Mm -hmm. For your kids or your grandkids yeah. to enjoy. Will you enjoy your life? Will you be mm -hmm. happy? And on your deathbed, right. will you die with this habit or right. this belief and feel good about it? Right. Or will you be filled with regret yeah, and remorse it. that you could have done something about it? shifted it all right Woo! come back for a second just shake it out shake it shake it shake it shake it shake it shake it, shake it. <laughs> it's never very fun to go there shake but that sometimes nasty feeling off. you're it's like well, thanks paul and kate <laughs> no i'm gonna and so let's we're, like let's just reverse it really quickly we're so we take you somewhere so we, nice. okay so just close your eyes again yeah Close your eyes again, and I want you to really see yourself with this, this, this belief disappeared. With this habit, quit without an issue. Just like, Bleh. no problem. Not a problem. You know, and so I want you with, when you're no longer carrying the burden of this, what is there instead? You know, are you, are you confident? Are you liberated? Are you excited? Are you mm. full of beans? Are, are you the person that your kids and grads kids, kids can come to for advice mm -hmm. and for, and because they love hugging you because you smell so good and yeah. you have energy Yes. and you get, to, you're their favorite aunt or uncle or grandparent because you have the energy to, yes. to be present with them. Yes. And now, now, open that up like when you don't have this negative belief or this habit that's dragging you down what else is possible in right. five years time in yeah. 10 years time yeah, who do you go, get to be who do you get to be and then at the end of your life when you're on your deathbed 
what we what will that be like mm-hmm. when you haven't like? carried around all that extra nasty habit or bad beliefs mm-hmm. that really drag you down yeah and just feel into that feeling feel into that make it bigger too. Oh, make just, that feeling yeah. as exciting just, just, just like ah then, you know and maybe look at and see your funeral and everyone's so excited like everyone's crying and sad but like mm. just celebrating your life because you just did so much and you accomplished yeah. so much and you made such an impact for them like really see them celebrating the magic of who you are all right now come back come back for this. <laughs> How are you all doing? How is that for you guys? Tell it like let's let's have a look at the comments there. Of like what's how how did it feel when you were seeing if you didn't let this go, and then um, and then write what was there for you if like on the other side of that. That was powerful, Shelley. I, I don't know why I sabotage my life. What we're sharing, we're giving you nice ways here to look at that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yikes, right? Mm-hmm. If you just joined, you might want <laughs> I'm to... definitely the favorite aunt. Great. <laughs> <laughs> um, overwhelming, emotional, great and powerful. Love this process. Yeah. Teary-eyed. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Went from yuck to yay. Oh. Yeah. We are digging deep. Yes, you yeah, are. Yeah, yeah. So, so this is you know, this is a beautiful way to really see the importance of acting now. We only have this finite time on life. You know, we always think we have infinite time until something happens or so some tragedy happens or you get told that if you don't change this, you're going to die by a doctor. You know, I, 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 we always get people that are suddenly like ready to take on their life. And it's like, why do you, ha- why do we have to wait until something horrible to happen to really take on our life? Because yeah. otherwise you're just going to get to that two year, three year, five year, 10 year with the same problems. Do not wait until you're sick or dying to take it on. That's it's right. time to really go for it now. And then so that's why that's what we care about. That's what we're committed to with our program and why we um, why why we're asking you if you'd like to join us on our latest adventure. Yes, and just right now anybody who's had a big breakthrough with one of our past programs or is in our ongoing, please share in the comments what that is. Really is distinct. Like, yeah. I used to do this and now I do this. Or, or just, this is or what happened to me, just so we just can, something sh- we really can share juicy. some of your awesomeness. And we'll try and read them in the comments in a moment here. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. And, and, you know, we've helped hundreds of people experience transformation. And it's not rocket science, it's having the tools and being consistent. And it's, it's, you know, it's almost impossible to be consistent when you're just doing it alone. Yeah. You need, you know, that's why community is important. And so, you know, and then this particular program that we want to share with you guys today, it's a six week journey. We used, we've always done six week and eight week journeys in the past, um, but they were $300, $400, they were very intensive. You know, there was a lot to take on, great transformations, but if you didn't have the time, you felt really overwhelmed. So we've simplified it, we've made it more cost effective, we've, you know, made it much more easier to onboard. Um, so it's only $99, this one, which they used to be $300, $400. Um, so this one's super easy and accessible to get into, and then you get two weeks of our membership for free. So you get to see what the ongoing community is and how that works and like meet a bunch of our extraordinary people in there. Um, and then it's up to you. If you want to stay on, you can. If you if, that, if you just want to do a quick little refresher, you can. So it's up mm-hmm. to you how, pick your adventure. But this is a way of really identifying what those things are that might be getting in your way that's keeping you in this belief, that's keeping you in this habit mm-hmm. so that you can start moving things out of the way. Um, now let's just look at our, um, yes. I used to be scared to put myself out there and now I'm not. Hang on. Um, ooh. starts right here. All right. There's more up here. Oh, let me just finish that one. Okay. Um, and now I'm not, I can never say no. And now I can say without feeling guilty. Yes. Paul. Thanks Paul and Kate for all these wonderful people. I love that. 
Paul, uh, Paul, I used to be so unsure of myself and now I'm more confident. Love, love, love my life. More dates with, with my, my honey. honey. Yes. yes. Paul has been with us from the day one. She's one of our OGs. Joanne, I'm healthier, happier, more outgoing, and more open to change. Joanne, that's Love huge. That. That's massive. Heidi is able to let go of the past that, uh, that we, we had as a family member. Tracy's released 50 pounds. Did you see that one? There's more at the top. Oh, There's there is? pounds. You, 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 you got it right here, right here, right here. Uh, keep going up. Release 50. Whoa, go back down. Tracy released 50 pounds. Keep going up. Other way. Okay. And found her positivity. Yeah. It was missing. And I love, see how she said she released 50 pounds instead of lost? Because if you lose your keys, you're going to go find them. <laughs> releasing weight releasing inches is is a way that you can just let it go it's not serving you you don't have to go lose it and go find it again the tool saved my marriage yes I love that. that is awesome i have been drinking more water decluttering throughout the house classroom helping stress wonderful mary more i used to get really depressed oh we lost it we lost it you can um, repost and now that she doesn't we'll yeah get to it. yeah oh, no, if you scroll we should get there the other no. way no no. I think they're gone, those no, comments. Yeah. Um, That's okay. Uh, I no longer worry. I live joyfully in the now with tribe members that will always be there. Thanks, eh? Thanks, eh? <laughs> I was shy and more fearful. Now I practice being friendly and open. Um, I used to take a lot of painkillers every day against back, back pain with changing my diet and drinking celery juice. I'm now pain free for over a year. Wow, yes, that's a big Tina. thing. That... And you released a bunch of weight as yeah, well. Yeah, I think over 50 pounds. Maybe or... more, 50 yeah. kilos, I think. Um, oh, no. no, let's keep going. Um, so I just want to, um, what was I saying yeah. on that? Oh, yeah, a lot of people pain killers. Um, have gotten off medications that no Love longer it. serve them. Love it. This is one of the big things that we really, because we give you the With tools. With your doctor, of course. We give you tools in which to get your body back into an equilibrium so you no longer need to be reliant on these things in order to live. And then, you know, that's you're saving money, you're feeling good, your body is doing what it's born to do, which is to heal and to... to do all of them. It's just to be amazing. So, there was another one right below that that was really awesome. Oh, right really? here. Oh, we lost it already. Oh, we lost it. Comments are going so fast. I think they go into the ethers too. They do. Oh, uh, bummer. She, Timmy got back to exercising, doing long distance walks after joining the program. Awesome, Timmy. Uh, uh, yeah, see. so there's a link in here that Ruth just put in there. You can you can click on it and just leave it on the side. It'll um, it'll tell you a lot more about things uh, as to what it's all about and why we, you know. And then you get live coaching um, for, for that six week. We're six and I are coaching twice live in there, the beginning and then at the end. And as so, we uh, go ahead, I was just gonna say like it's the cheapest way to get coaching. Ever. <laughs> Even if you just came for that and didn't do any of the work, you get all the total value. We from do it. live coaching on, yeah. Zoom, on Zoom. Yeah. So there's uh, that. And then every week you get um, basically uh, actions to take. And you've got a ton of information on how to take it, why you would take it. We love geeking out on the science of things and the, we, having the why behind everything is really what will keep you propelling you forward. If you don't have a strong why, then you kind of end up in no man's land. So we're going to get right. you really clear on exactly what you want and how to create it. Wonderful. Well, so this, and who's this? So this is for anybody who feels stuck. Mm -hmm. and, Somebody who's alone, has no community, or maybe has broken relationships, maybe somebody who has terrible with their money, uh, you're going to get strategies for all of it because all of there's crossover with all of these things. Uh, anybody who wanted change but keeps falling back to your old patterns, this is definitely for you. Uh, and this, it's not for you if you're if you're not coachable, if you are if you are totally comfortable where, where, where you're at and don't want to change at all, this might not be for you. Or if you're just a casual observer, this might not be. Could anybody no, else? No, you need to be an active participant. And you have you to know. go after this, mm -hmm. like your life depends on it, which mm -hmm. it does. And some of you know that the food that you're eating or the medication you're taking or the lack of exercise is killing you. Mm -hmm. So this is life or death for some of you. And, and it's, uh, 
it's one of the we some of the testimonials we get of people who have got their lives back is hundreds of people who mm-hmm. have completely shifted the experience of what it feels like to wake up and be in their body some people their body was a prison Mm -hmm. and now it's a playground Mm -hmm. and it's a Mm -hmm. temple and it it does take work though yeah showing up being your word to yourself it's simple it's not rocket science it's It's just and we've wanted we wanted to make this six week entry into our ongoing very affordable so it's 99 to come in and then the ongoing is twenty four ninety five a month. And so we're really trying to build this community and make a difference and actually have these tools change the world. Um, mm-hmm. And we're really excited about that. And Evelyn said it totally changed her marriage. That's exciting. Oh, we love that. Yeah, relationships, it's, you know, there's so many times people feel so stuck, like, this person will never change and it's their fault or I'm the, or all of this stuff. And so when you start looking at things in a new way with new tools, you can start taking full accountability for your life, the way it's worked, the way it hasn't worked, all of that. And then start shifting the practices in which you, you do things. And from these tiny, tiny shifts, huge just like a pebble drops in and then it grows out and out and out that's what happens when you start taking actions when you start surrounding yourself in this community you know these little ripple effects go bigger and bigger and bigger until this people are unrecognizable to themselves Mm -hmm. you know within within a short space of time so it's the funniest it's the fun funnest the funnest part of our job is really witnessing the magic of what people truly become with this oh connie says you you guys took me from grief to fruit you did connie your program works and i'm so grateful i i learned that i didn't lose my husband yeah you know where he is i know exactly where he is and you're living your best life Isn't that funny? Just just tr- just being paying attention to the words that we speak, like losing weight or losing your husband. It's like you know where he is. Yeah, Donna. And, yeah. Donna said it's very affordable, cheaper than the crappy food I'm using. Ah, using going the wrong way. That's yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. Think of how much you spend on, <laughs> uh, on ice cream and chips is twenty five bucks. <laughs> Uh, so you're going to dis- discover blind spots mm-hmm. and blind spots are really tricky because they're areas that you don't know that you don't know. Mm-hmm. They're, they're not, they, you don't know what they are. And so we're going to shine this light uh, through some of the questions we ask and the tools and the community into your blind spots. These things are getting in your way and totally uh, sabotaging you over and over again. What else are they going to get learned so, in, the, in this boot camp in the six weeks? Um, so you're going to be able to transform your body with step-by-step, easy to adapt pro- um, practices, focusing on optimal energy, whole body strength, vitality yeah. and balance with this maestro. Yeah. I like, to sh- <laughs> I like to share fast ways to get fit. He yeah. like, yeah, he likes to take the, you know, I mean, sometimes you need to just really dig in there, but he knows all the hacks to do it as quickly yeah. as possible. And if it's not happening really fast, it's usually because there's some kind of blind spot in your emotional body mm-hmm. um, that we need to shine lights on. And that's where I come in and help. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, learn how to restore love and affinity in any, I'm reading yours. <laughs> learn how to, we, we have these tools that will help you learn how to restore love and affinity in any relationship. So you might have somebody you haven't spoken to for years. There's actual steps that you can take mm-hmm. to restore that love mm-hmm. and that affinity and get over yourself, uh, your right to be right. Mm-hmm. Um, and we have a whole series of conscious communication tools that help restore love and affinity with anybody. Yeah. It's powerful. Yeah. You can do this one. Cause this you get to learn new exercises that, uh, that'll be acceptable, ac- accessible to anybody no matter how physically active or how how fit you are, so yeah. there's certain exercises that are easy and other ones that are more advanced. There's they're simple. Learn how to shed emotional and physical weight because they're, they're connected. Yes, they are. Mm-hmm. Sometimes people just stop beating themselves up in their head. They start releasing weight because mm-hmm. their their body's like, oh, I don't have to defend mm-hmm. myself against that cruel taskmaster mm-hmm. your, yourself. Yeah. <laughs> uh, more self confidence and self love than you've ever ever experienced or had and strengthen your mind so it works for you and not against you 
and you'll likely sleep better, worry less, and know how to switch on your positivity on command because mm. we have lots of ways to quickly like step into that. Yes. And just practices. And this is, you know, this is, you get to choose who you get to be moment by moment. We think we're stuck as an identity. We do a lot of work on identity. You're not. You know, it's a choice moment by moment, but how to access that you have that choice is the key. So yes. this is one of the one of the many areas and we're delving into all sorts of juicy, fun areas to really uncover these things. It is like playing Cluedo. It is a discovery. It requires curiosity, a little bravery, yes. um, but it's a lot of fun. Yes. So we, we make we bring levity to all of the things especially the really tough moments yeah mm -hmm. and we do push you out of your comfort zone because mm -hmm. everything you want is outside of your comfort zone that's right <laughs> yes 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 so we start on monday we start monday so yes. there's not a lot of time so jump in now and yeah there's anyone a, that go ahead no go there's a link here in the chats and you also there'll be a link in the description that i put for this you can also go to my website paulgreen.com and you can sign up there uh, or freedom-alchemist.com mm -hmm. that website you can sign up there um but yeah there's a link in here you can click yes. it and just look at it after this uh webinar and for our past folks there's a lot of people here there's a big discount for you if you want to do the six weeks you'll get two extra coachings with us and a distilled version of one of yeah. the eight weeks we've kind of simplified it mm -hmm. and we see how many of you have logged in and we see how many of you have done the work. And some people have done all of it. And many people have logged in a couple times. And sometimes it takes revisiting it to yeah. actually get something And so there's, well. a, there's mm -hmm. a discount uh, for you. And there's also an affiliate program if you want to share it with yeah. anybody too. And uh, for anyone that wants to jump in today, we're going to send you um, some extra meditations to, in order to start start this journey um, of really like getting your body to work for you, not against you. Mm -hmm. and, and your sticking. thoughts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, yes, so we're really excited to have you. Yeah. And if you have any Join questions. Us. We always have a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we start on Monday. The six weeks start on Monday. Yeah. And that will give you entry into the um, monthly ongoing, which which can, is continuing. Yeah. After I'm just looking at the questions here really quick. Uh, so can Paul. Uh, Kate can really push you. <laughs> it's true. But, yes, it's true. Nice to be here. You're amazing. I'm this here sounds. for your greatness, not to keep you comfy. Yes, that's right. <laughs> so don't hesitate. Don't uh, wait till tomorrow because you will have all kinds of procrastinating and, and upper limitings come in mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. worries come in and stop you. You are worth it. Stop you from going after your uh, getting what you deserve. Mm -hmm. um, and you only, like we shared at the beginning, you only get the amount of money, the amount of, of peace and connection that you think Happiness. you deserve. Mm -hmm. And that's really one of the beautiful sh tools that one of the gifts Kate has is to really help you and we, we work a lot in the self-worth and the self-love, but to have you re just to remember really who you are and to understand that you do deserve and to, to there's a really beautiful set of questions and tools that help you really get you back to a place of self-worth and, and loving yourself and treating and yourself. And dreaming again. Yes, and, and just remembering who you are and, mm -hmm. and coming back to that to that 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 little you that is that needs nurturing and needs care and to be a little bit more gentle to yourself um, and this we really work in that space of of self-worth and you are only going to get the amount of love and money and connection that you think you deserve and so when you get a certain level in the what most what most people do is they get that certain level of love or money and they blow it up mm -hmm. and we just shared with you in this last hour some really great questions and some great tours tools for you to dig in uh, to understand why you do that mm -hmm. and to understand how to stop sabotaging your life yeah. that's and so if you want to go at that alone you can try but you could also join us in the community and yeah. have a support team in an environment pulling you forward and we're going to start smashing those glass ceilings that's so right that you can start moving above and keep going and there's always we're always going to create a new upper limit as we grow but it's like once we have the tools to know how to like blast through that glass ceiling 
then we can get to another one and be like, I know what to do here. I'm not going to mm. blow it up and mess it all up. I'm going to blow this glass ceiling up and That's I'm going right. to keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Yeah, you know? and I've got my community and my team that's loving me. You know, it's extraordinary. Sometimes all it takes is having a bunch of people cheering you on. Some people have never yeah. had that. And to have these beautiful people cheering you on and wanting the best for you and, you know, an environment that's all encouraging and inspiring, like, you know, some people have never had that. So to create and be in that mm -hmm. just gives you the spaciousness to start rising mm -hmm. and the tools start sticking and then you get to what you want and without blowing things up. So, yes, I just read a really great thing and then we're going to say goodbye. We're going to say goodbye right in one minute here. Uh, oh, where did it go? She said, I forget who it was. The best thing you've ever done, says Tracy. It, it will be the best thing. Thank you, Tracy. The breath work has helped with your symptoms of, symptoms of anxiety. So she, see how she didn't say my anxiety? She said, the Sim breath work has helped with my symptoms of anxiety because she didn't have to go, it's my anxiety. I'm going to keep this anxiety forever. That's something we learn with us, yeah. Yeah. Language. We pay attention to it. Yes. You're welcome, Susan. Thank you so much. Exc uh, Noreen's excited. So run, don't walk, and make sure you sign up. Yeah. And you'll get a free meditation from Kate. Sent your email right away. And we'll Everyone start. signs up today. On Monday, we'll start. Mm -hmm. And you'll get an email as to how we, we'll introduce you, and you'll get your first sent to you. And you, there's an app. You can do it on your phone. You can do it on your computer. And you, mm -hmm. there are a series of videos and uh, actions it's for you to take. Yeah, and it's fun. It's fun. I mean, we don't seem like boring people. There's a lot of videos that are fun. There's research in there that you actually will get into and be excited by. So, yes, yes, yes. yes. Um, so there's work, but it's the, the most fun way of doing it. It is. Jennifer mm -hmm. says, thank you for this hope tonight. You're welcome, Jennifer. Uh, Cindy says, so humbled right now. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Susan. Mm -hmm. Best community ever, supportive and loving. It Charlie. is. Yes. We love everyone so much. Yeah, Timmy. Some of our Europeans have really bonded together to mm -hmm. to to. Pull yeah, we this. have people all over the world that do this. By the way, so if you're like, oh, I'm in the wrong time zone. No, we have people in Australia, in Asia, in Europe. You know, in Africa, yes. we have people all over the world that do yes. a program. So, if there's a will, there's a way. Just go for it. Everything's recorded, so you can always watch replays if you miss a coaching. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Um, you know, everything's in your in your thing. So. And this, this video, too, you can share it with somebody who you think might yeah, do uh, it with people. benefit. It's so much more fun and you together. do it together. Mm -hmm. And there is an affiliate program that you'll get an email about as well. That if you bring somebody, you actually get a $25 voucher towards your next month of the ongoing. So we're wanting you to be able to do it with people <laughs> that... Uh, Far from boring. Far so we want boring. you to do it with, with your environment so that you will continue and have it stick. And yeah, just Noreen just own. joined. Woo! Well, that quick. Yes. yes. And she's doing the 40 days as well. That's right, Noreen. Uh, and so a lot, Kate's 40 days is going on as well, which yeah. you, you should check out yeah. um, and follow along. All right. Okay. That's it. So please share this video with somebody you think might be, you might enjoy it be groovy yeah and uh, and do it do it together we're always better together and if you join late go back and do the exercises yes. at the beginning yeah because uh, we can see some people came in later some people left please do this process of finding out your upper limit problem as well as do the Dickens process on mm -hmm. choose a different area go through it again and do that Dickens process pick another area that you know you're destroying your life if mm -hmm. you continue with that habit mm -hmm. and make Make a shift just like that. It doesn't have to take years. Yeah. This one's the fast change maestro. She will help you change. She, some of the training she's done with NLP, she can help you change a lifetime habit in one session, which is mm -hmm. one of her gifts. And I just want to address this. Somebody asked earlier if our position on religion is this not a religious course at all. No. Nope. Every religion's welcome. We mm -hmm. don't promote one. We don't speak against another one. You you can come as you are. Mm -hmm. And as a th human being, this is a focus on on habits, on mindset, on sharing. Um, some routines and some insights. It's there's no. It's not a religious course in mm -hmm. in, in any way. No. Uh, all religions are benefit from it. We talk yeah. about um, yeah, God, but that's God to whatever it means to you, yeah. and that that might be any any relationship. But not we don't talk about it in just just as a way to call in 
you know, what, where you draw power from. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I hope that answers your question. Mm -hmm. um, okay, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. We love you. We love you. And until we see you again. So just, yeah, there's a link in the, in the, in the thing, in the comments, but also there's a link in the setup, uh, uh, in the description here. Uh, this is how I'm rolling out my feet. Uh, and, <laughs> or go to paulgreen.com and you can uh, find a link there. Yeah. And we hope to see you guys soon. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. -bye. <laughs>